All right, welcome everyone, and uh, thank you for joining our third Take 20 Jira Power Series webinar, uh, Best Practices for Designing Stellar Dashboards in Jira. Uh, we've designed these short 20-minute sessions here to help you maximize your Jira usability, efficiency, and system performance. So we hope today's session will empower you uh, to turn your data into insights uh, with these best practices. And uh, before we get started, we got uh, some minor housekeeping items here. Uh, just to let you know, this webinar is being recorded and it will be sent to everyone later this week along with the slides. And uh, if you do have any questions during the presentation, please type them into the GoToWebinars panel and uh, we'll get to them at the end of the presentation. And uh, now I'll hand it over to Yugank, our GR expert and business solutions consultant here at the Corporate Renaissance Group. And uh, he specializes in the complete Alasian suite. So, all right, Yugank, uh, the floor is yours. Thanks, Kip. Uh, so, uh, I'm so at least certified in Agile development with Jira software and project Jira administration. So, today I will talk about how the best practices of uh, making a dashboard in Jira. So, the agenda items are just to understand what a dashboard is, how we can gather key information before we design a dashboard, how to leverage the built-in gadgets we have in Jira, and how easy we can share the dashboard with the team. Then we would go for a quick demo and then we'll be open for the questions. So understanding a dashboard. Dashboard is a visual representation of facts to track, monitor, and analyze the KPIs and the data which is important to your team. Uh, for example, to check the status of the projects in a visualized manner so you can uh, discuss uh, more around the graphs and the KPIs are displayed on the dashboard. Why a dashboard? To it is very important to continuously monitor the health of the project. And dashboard gives you a quick glance over how the project's uh, health is going. Is, is it going like in the right direction or not? Is it red, green, or yellow? And in terms of your KPI, you enable the team to ask questions around the dashboard, around the KPIs which are showed in the dashboard. Uh, the team feels empowered and engaged when they have the data uh, visualized in front of them. It also enables the team to take informed decisions. So coming on to the different teams, uh, there are so many uh, different requirements and needs, and it's very important to hear from all of the team members that what should be showed in the dashboard so to maintain a continuous interest and tracking of their interest areas in, in the form of dashboard. The normal questions can be like, where are my highest priority tasks? Where is my team's data? How much time is left in the sprint? So these are just an example. So there may be even more uh, questions when you engage with the team before you design the dashboard. So different teams like the QA team, the VA team, the development, deployment, business analysts, each set of team would have different set of questions. So it's very important to design a dashboard keeping all their requirements and needs in mind. What can be our key information before we design a dashboard? For a start, we can just start uh, noticing like what is discussed daily as a team at a scrum meeting or a weekly meeting or any meeting of any sort related to the health or the status of the project. Identify the data which gives us information regarding the bottlenecks, dependencies, uh, like what are the major causes which cause uh, bottlenecks in the team, for example, a set of people going on a vacation, uh, a new person joining in, or the scope change in a project, like the estimation has increased or new stories has been added. So we should have a way to reflect or visualize these inset of information in the in the form of dashboard. And finally, we need to also see at a glance, is the project red, yellow, or green? Also to keep one thing in mind, don't overdo. We have to keep the dashboard simple and easy to understand. If we start adding too much information, the target audience may lose their interest and stop tracking or following your dashboard. So it's very important to keep the relevant information, which would be driven by your discussions across all the team members, and have a dashboard for the targeted audience with just the right amount of information. 
how we can design our dashboard. So uh, there are a lot of built-in uh, gadgets in Jira, which provides a lot of flexibility in adding uh, the gadgets onto the dashboard very easily. So you can just click on Add Gadget screen when you uh, on your Create Dashboard page, and you can de decide upon which gadgets are right for your team for your information to be displayed to the team. Uh, not all gadgets may meet your needs, so, so you have to review pretty much all the gadgets one by one. Just test in the environment which uh, you have and see if that gadget, particular gadget, makes sense to you or it, and or to your team. Also, it is very important before you start uh, designing the dashboard is to save the relevant searches or the searches which are most important to you. In our previous demos, we have covered how easily we can save our search results through advanced searches using JQL in Jira. So once you have those searches saved, you can recall those searches in the gadgets and you can show the search results in a visualized manner in the dashboard. Choose the right layout. Jira provides you the ability to choose the layout uh, which would help you fit your gadgets in the right place and make the information available to your viewers or to the target audience in the manner in which they like. So it just gives you more flexibility around the layouts. Once you have created a dashboard, it is very important to let your team know where your dashboard is. One of the ways is to share the dashboard with your team, with your group, or individual members. You can do tons of other functions with the dashboard you have created. You can copy the dashboard and create an entirely new dashboard uh, and add more gadgets around it. You can edit the dashboard at any given point in time. You can delete the dashboard. You can find dashboards which are shared across the Jira platform. And you can uh, create as many dashboards as you want, which makes sense to you and to your team. So let's take a look uh, on in Jira how easily we can create and uh, add gadgets to our dashboard. So this is the page uh, in our demo environment. This is uh, one of the dashboards which I have already created for the webinar. So in this page, you can add gadgets and edit the layout. So you can add, when you click on Add Gadget, it would load all the gadgets available which are inbuilt in Jira. You can have more gadgets added from the marketplace depending upon your specific needs and customization. So you can add charts and Jira-specific uh, gadgets and wall board specific gadgets and other uh, charts which make sense to you or to enter your team. So for example, if you just want to add activity stream, you just have to click add gadget and it would start displaying. You have to set the number of items, say 10, and you have to click on save and it will start showing the activity going in your Jira instance. You can add up uh, your gadgets based upon your, on your relevant uh, uh, needs and requirements. And also you can edit the layout uh, by clicking edit layout button and arrange your gadgets in the layout which you have chosen. So it is very important to uh, understand the requirements because for example, if you have issue statistics and two dimensional, uh, two -dimensional statistics uh, gadgets in the in Jira, it is very important to understand how uh, we have to arrange the data to be shown uh, to the targeted audience. Uh, for example, for some teams, uh, knowing the issues which are hitting their uh, time spent, it's more important than the priority. So you have to get to ensure that the, all the tickets issues have the time uh, quantity uh, defined, and which you can pull and show in your dashboard. And also you can show the issues which are which are bottlenecked. For example, in issue statistics, you can see that for the assigned Yukang Vatnaga, there are almost 221 issues assigned to him, which doesn't look fine because he's holding up up to 84% of the tickets in this year. So these are 
just an example of how easy you can find the bottlenecks. Here we can see in the Sprint Health Gadget, the overall health of our Sprint. We can see that there is only one day left and we have already elapsed 22% of the time and we still have not completed any other work. And this, these kind of gadgets help us capturing the APIs which are critical to the project success over the period of time. So uh, that is it from the demo perspective. Now I will pass on the demo to Kate. All right, perfect. Well, thank you, Yulang. Uh, um, it looks like we've got a couple questions in. Uh, so the first one is, uh, how many gadgets uh, can I add to my dashboard? By default, you can add up to 20 gadgets. Uh, and if there is a need for you to uh, increase the number of gadgets, you can talk to your system admin or Jira admin and they can work on the configuration application file and they can increase the defined limit for of 20 to higher. But I would suggest that you need to keep uh, the number of gadgets uh, less than 20 uh, just to not to make your dashboard overloaded with data and doesn't and eventually doesn't make any sense. If there is a need for you to add more gadgets, I would suggest that you create a new dashboard and add the gadgets there. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, there's one more question here is, uh, can I display my dashboards uh, in an external screen? That's a good question. Uh, there are times like you want, you have a team on the floor and you are you want to continuously track the information captured in the ga on, onto the dashboard on, on a bigger screen. So what you can do is, if you can see uh, to my screen, you can just go click on the dot dot button here and you can set up the wall board slideshow and you can select the dashboard you want to display. You can select the order in which they have to be selected. You can select the transition effect and you can define the cycle period when, this, when it would get changed. So for example, in the second we have five seconds. When you are done with the changes, you can go back on the same screen and then you can show it as a view wall board as a slideshow and then it can be shown on the on a bigger screen just like a tv so yeah okay it. perfect all right well thank you Yvonne. uh uh there we go okay so well, so those are all the questions that we've got in today uh i want to thank everyone for joining and uh, i hope that uh, some of these best practices uh will help you leverage uh, your dashboards to have greater insight and uh, uh, better decision making. Uh, at the end of the session, there is a quick survey that will pop up. Please make sure you uh, fill those in so that we can get some feedback and improve our sessions. And if you have any questions or would like to learn more about Sierra Group Services for the Alison Suite, we invite you to uh, definitely contact us. Contact us. And uh, be sure to register uh, for our upcoming live sessions. Uh, we have uh, Getting Started with Jira Service Desk and uh, how to integrate Jira with SharePoint in a few easy steps. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining and uh, have a great rest of the day. Thank you.